We are doing some night building. I know you probably can't see anything I'm filming, but got all my guys out here. My pals, they're helping me put this thing together. It is about 10 o'clock at night, something like that. And we have started raising the arches. And I'll loop back around on this video because you probably can't see anything I'm filming, but I wanted to just shoot what we got so far. We have one, two, three, four, five arches up so far. And hopefully by the end of this night, we will have gotten all the arches on. And then during some daylight hours tomorrow, I'll show you what we did. But I wanted to capture these little moments because they're super important. <laughs> Mr. Adam McKee already left us. He was helping us out tonight. So we're getting this thing done. It is a sunny day, a sunny Sunday here, and we are working on the greenhouse today. As you can see from the video I just showed, we put up the, the arches about a week ago. It was 21 degrees, we stayed up till 2 a.m. banging these arches out. I had my buddies come over and help me, and as you can see from the video, started up a fire and made a little night out of it so good thing is we got our arches up which is it was a lot of work a lot of hard work in the cold but now that it's done super excited that we got those done so today we are going to be putting in our hip boards and our baseboards so let me show you what we're doing over here so behind me is the top hip board. This is a two by eight. And what we're doing is on, on, the, on each section of the bottom of the arch, we're placing this even at each arch and it's gonna run all the way down. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom here. This section down here, touching the ground. We're gonna put a baseboard and the top of the hip board is going to hold the C channel, which is just a little channel that the plastic is going to be pulled into and anchored down onto that C channel. So this is where the plastic that goes around the entire arch of the greenhouse is going to sit. And then this will also be part of the, it, it bolsters the structure up and it's also going to be part of the, where the curtains sit. So we're going to have curtains that roll up and down on the side here so you can open them when it's hot or when it's you need some fresh air in the greenhouse so we're going to get started on this and we will show you the process of how we're getting these things on so the way we start out these hip boards is we just drilled holes straight through use these 5 16 carriage bolts and anchored the first one first section down made it flush with the edge of the post here and then as we come on down we use these brace bands two brace bands on each uh, arch and then on the opposite side we use a tech screw to kind of anchor it down so it doesn't slip or anything in the wind so we do that for each section like you see here and then when we get to the end of the length of a 2x8 we use this little seaming board uh, which is just a one foot two by eight, one foot long, two by eight. 
and we have this little prop board and we're gonna lay our next uh, two by eight right here and then we're gonna just keep on going down and seaming each two by eight in for the entire length of this uh, side of the greenhouse. So we're having a little bit of an issue with these twisted boards. Yeah, you want the hammer at all. One thing we're doing is we're not using treated lumber because treated lumber has all sorts of chemicals and formaldehyde and all sorts of junk in it. So we're not using treated lumber and cedar lumber is extremely expensive so we have this choice in pine wood which we didn't have the best options when we went to the lumber store so uh, now we're dealing with twisted boards and it's just a pain to have to deal with but now we can't get the bottom part in but the idea is that we're using these clamps these wood clamps here to secure everything together hold it in place make sure everything's level and then once it's all level we'll come back and knock it all in with some screws and brace bands okay so one suggestion if you are doing this to those of you that are out there building greenhouses when you get your lumber for your hip boards make sure you're getting lumber that's not bowed so this board is bowed so what we're having to do let me show you this crazy contraption that we came up with we already broke one ratchet strap on this thing so basically this board is bowed right here in the middle let me get on this side so basically this board is bowed right here in the middle so we have a ratchet strap down here clamped down with two wood clamps so it doesn't move and then hooked to the board right here and we're having to pull this bow out so that we can secure it to the post this one's this end's already secured so we secured this end that end down there and now we're pulling this bow out anyway it's a pain to pull these bows out and i don't know how critical it is that all of this stuff is exact but we want to get it near it was like over an inch and a half out or up so it was a big bow so we're having to get this bow out so note to myself and to others out there that are building for this hip board get wood that is near straight doesn't have to be perfect but it's near straight so now this board is the bow is taken in out so we'll secure this one down so what happened was we were using these ratchet straps and the entire handle just broke off of this one so we had to cut it at the base because it wouldn't we couldn't get the uh the strap to unravel at that point so we had to we had to cut one ratchet strap out so now that we got it good i'm going to go ahead and secure this part in We got our hip board on, our first hip board, and scaffolded it all together all the way down to the end here. So that went on nicely. We learned a lot in the process, and now we'll be able to put the other hip board on way easier. So now we're going to move on to the baseboard. And the baseboard is a 2x6 instead of a 2x8, and it just goes right down here at the bottom along the whole edge exact same process that we did with the hip board we scab them together with these one foot lengths and uh that's it once we're done that side we'll move on to the other side over here all right so we got one side completely done now we just got to do another side all right that's it guys i am done for the day i'm beat all this cold weather snow and everything working in it and the mud and all of that combined i am tired 
So we're gonna be done for the day. We got one side of the wood. We got one side of the greenhouse fully done and we started uh, on this side. So it will take us half a day to finish this side and then we will be ready to finish. Actually, we have two, no, four roof braces to put on, which are these supports. The roof braces run this way. So we got four more of those to put on after we put on our wood and then we'll go ahead and screw every single arch down and then we'll be ready to put the put the in walls on so the next project after this is the in walls and uh, that will be an exciting fun project because we get to build and design what we want the in walls to look like most likely they're gonna have uh, a, a door a big door on each side with a little door beside it so you can walk in and out but then the big door is for getting bigger equipment in if we need to or just opening up the in walls so that we can get a good breeze coming through the uh through the greenhouse so i'm gonna clean up these tools i got junk everywhere here 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 all of this I'm gonna go ahead and clean up. One other quick update is that I got the germination chamber ready for planting seeds. So we went through and we selected the seeds that we're gonna plant for the year. And um, so we got those all set up and I will be getting some flats ready to plant inside the germination chamber in the next day or so here. And so I'm excited to get that started, getting ready for the spring here. It looks like we're going to have a very cold month of March. I mean, we'll see, but that's what it's looking like so far. And so it looks like a lot of what we plan on doing is going to get pushed back a little bit so far as the planting timeline. So, but I'm excited to get stuff sprouting in the basement and get it all ready to go. So I will show y'all the, uh, the, planting process, germinating process. For those of you who haven't seen the germination chamber, I will leave a, uh, a link up here in the video, in the corner of the video, for you to check out last year's video of when we created the germination chamber and when we started our seeds. So you can check that video out if you want to. But we're gonna be done for the day here. Again, thanks for watching the videos, guys. If you like these, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to our channel to stay connected with our updates, our health videos, and our vlogs. And if you have any questions, comments, remember to leave them in the comment section below. I will see y'all in the next video.